Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and Ledger Live has just added Cardano support into their account interface. So now it's easier than ever to store and manage Cardano using your Ledger device. So let me show you how to get started with this. All right, so Cardano support is finally here. You can manage Cardano directly in Ledger Live now. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really simple. So the first thing we'll do is launch our Ledger Live. And when we're in Ledger Live, we wanna be in the account interface. So the first thing you'll wanna do is make sure you're in the account interface just by clicking on accounts over here on the left side so you can see all of your existing accounts. And all you need to do is click Add Account and then choose Cardano. You can type in Cardano or ADA, either one will work. And you'll see there they've added ADA support. Just click Continue. All right, now if you don't have your device attached, it's going to direct you to connect your device and enter your PIN. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, and once you have your PIN entered, it's going to check to see if you have the Cardano app on your device. If it doesn't have the Cardano app on there, it's gonna automatically install it for you. So just give it a second and it's gonna take care of that for you. All right, and then once it has the Cardano app installed, it's just going to indicate that you need to open the Cardano app on your device. So always keep an eye on what's going on on your device during this process. I can uh, just click both buttons and then it's ready to go. Now what it's doing is it's scanning my device for any existing Cardano accounts. And as you can see, I already have one on here. So it detects an existing wallet and then it offers me the option of adding an empty account. So for those of you who have uh, are doing this for the first time, I'll go ahead and add the empty account just so you can see how the empty account works. All right, and then I'll go back and show you what's going on with that uh, existing account. The Ledger device never forgets when you add wallets. So if you had uh, a Cardano wallet that you were managing over in Daedalus or Adalite or Yori or Eternal or any Cardano third-party wallet that you were using a Ledger device with, Ledger Live will detect that wallet and add it to the account interface. Very simple. So I'll go ahead and click Add Accounts. And you can see I've got my uh, Cardano account down here uh, the, with a zero balance, the empty one. And then a little higher, I've got the account that's got some Cardano in it already. All right, so I'll start with that empty account so you can see how this works from scratch. We'll just hit Receive and then Continue and it's going to show us the address on our device. Right, there's the Cardano address, and then it wants me to verify. I'll click both buttons. It's showing me the path, the uh, staking path, and then the address. Now the address won't fit on the entire screen. Cardano addresses are pretty long, so you'll notice that it says one of two. Uh, you'll also notice this tiny little arrow that indicates you need to advance to the next screen to see the entire address. So we'll do that by clicking the button right above the arrow, and then you can see the second half of the address there. Once you see the second half of the address, just eyeball it and make sure it's the same one you see on your screen, and then hit both buttons. Then it's going to ask you to confirm the address. Before I do that, though, I'm going to buy a little Cardano and uh, move it into this wallet. So I'm copying the address into my clipboard so I'll have access to it. So there are lots of major exchanges where you can buy Cardano. One of them is Coinbase Pro, where it's pretty cheap to buy Cardano because you're just trading in the case of Coinbase Pro, it's a little bit complicated. You have to make a deposit of US dollars into your account or have some existing crypto. But once you do that, if you search for the ADA trading pairs, there are quite a few available to you. 
You can uh, swap uh, U.S. dollars for ADA, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, or U.S. dollar coin. So you have a lot of options over on Coinbase Pro. You can also buy ADA directly in Coinbase proper, which might be easier for more, most people. So uh, all you have to do when you go to buy sell is click on the Bitcoin and switch it over to Cardano, right? And you can buy as little or as much as you want based on your account settings, right? And you can use your bank account or debit card on Coinbase. You can also do this on Binance US. Uh, you've got this buy crypto button over here, which will take you to this interface where you can just click on Bitcoin and switch over to Cardano, right? You can search for it. Right. And uh, you can also make purchases right out of your bank account on Binance US. You can also do the same thing over on Kraken. So if you click on the buy crypto button, you have the option of buying Cardano directly from your bank account or cash balance. So I'm gonna show you how to complete the process using uh, Binance US, pretty simple. We're in the buy crypto interface. We've got ADA selected. So I'm just gonna choose my bank account and I'll purchase $50 worth of ADA directly out of my bank account. So I'll click preview purchase. They only charge me 25 cents. So it's one of the cheapest places you can buy directly using uh, your ACH transfer from your bank account. I'll uh, acknowledge these terms and click confirm. All right, so you can see over in my wallet that I have uh, ADA. All right, so now that I've made my purchase on an exchange, I'd like to store my ADA in my own wallet. Just remember, it's always more secure to store crypto in your own wallet, not your keys, not your crypto. So what we wanna do is make our purchase and then transfer it into our own wallet. And that's very simple. As I showed you over in Ledger Live, we just copy the address into our clipboard, go back over to the exchange, and then I'm going to make a withdraw from the exchange to my wallet, right? I'll go ahead and uh, withdraw all of it. Uh, if it's your first time, I would suggest doing a small test transaction before you withdraw large amounts of crypto from an exchange. So always do that small test transaction to make sure everything is working on both ends of the transaction, right? I'm going to paste in that address. I can click here and paste and then paste in that Cardano address. We'll click preview withdraw. It's going to show me the address. I can even go back to Ledger Live and just double check that everything looks good, right? It looks good to me. I'll choose confirm withdrawal, and then I'll need my two-factor authentication. And then they're gonna send me a confirmation email, right? I'll go check that email and choose confirm withdrawal, and the withdrawal should be going out, right? I can go uh, click go back to wallet, and then I can click back on Cardano and look at the progress of my withdrawal. Shows there that I have a pending withdrawal. Now I'll go back over to Ledger Live. And now I'll go ahead and confirm this. All right, now that I've uh, handled everything, I'll just go ahead and click Confirm Address by clicking both buttons. All right, and then I'm done. Now at this point, I've already made the transfer, so there's no need to keep the device connected, right? You can safely disconnect the device and then just wait for the ADA or Cardano to come into your Ledger Live account. All right, and you can see there that the ADA has arrived in my wallet. Now notice there was a little less ADA when I made my withdrawal. I believe they charged me one ADA. We can go back and check that. Right, you can see there the withdrawal fee was one ADA. So we got just a little bit less. It's not that bad. Uh, they only charged us 25 cents for the purchase and then they charged us uh, 50 cents for the withdrawal. ADA, current price of ADA is around 50 cents. 
So all in all, not too bad. And it's a small price to pay for the security of storing your Cardano uh, safely and securely on your Ledger device. Now, as I showed you earlier, there was an existing account on my Ledger device. I'd like to show you that use case uh, using my Ledger Nano X. So before I do that, uh, let's do a little housekeeping and name these two accounts appropriately. So I'm going to right click on the account and choose edit. And I'll call this one Cardano Nano S Plus. And that indicates to me that this account is associated with my Ledger Nano S Plus. I'll do the same thing with this other account. So that you can see there I have two accounts and they're both associated with my Ledger Nano S Plus. Suppose you were using a third party wallet like Ada Lite. So if I go over to Ada Lite and choose hardware wallet and uh, Ledger, It'll ask me to export my public keys. And then you can see here that I had, uh, I had been using a third-party wallet to manage my Cardano holdings, right? I've got a wallet here with a balance of ADA, and I'm viewing it in ADA Lite. There are other third-party wallets, right? As you can see, I was using Eternal before. Uh, to manage this particular wallet and some other wallets. But uh, now uh, you don't have to worry about any kind of uh, transfer or transition of any kind. All you have to do is go back over to Ledger Live and we'll go back up to the top and hit Add Account. We'll choose ADA again. And as you can see, I have my device connected already and I'm in the Cardano app. Right? It's going to scan my device for any existing accounts. And boom, there it goes. It found that account right away. Same balance as the other one. Right, So you don't have to worry if you were using third-party wallets before with your Ledger device. It's very simple. All you have to do is go into Ledger Live and choose Add Account. Before I add the account, I'll do a little housekeeping and indicate that it's on my Ledger Nano X. Keeps it easy for me to keep it straight. And there we go. And there, now you can see I have three different ADA accounts. Two of them are associated with my Ledger Nano S Plus, and the other one is on my Ledger Nano X. Now, uh, as you'll notice, I named them accordingly, but you don't have to do that. Ledger will remember which account goes with which device, but it can be a little frustrating sometimes if you forget. Right? You'll have the device connected, you'll try to get into the account, and you'll get an error message telling you that the wrong device is attached. And that's a little frustrating. So better to just go ahead and name the accounts accordingly ahead of time so that you'll know which device you need to have attached when you want to manage the different accounts. Like if we click in here, you can see not only the balance but uh, the transaction history. Right, So it's a great way to manage your ADA, and you'll also be able to check the accounts of your third-party wallets using Ledger Live. It doesn't look like Ledger Live has the staking feature added for uh, ADA wallets yet. So if you're staking ADA over on a third-party wallet, you can continue to do that. Right? It, doesn't, it does not affect the third-party wallet to view the balance using Ledger Live. And I'm assuming at some point Ledger Live will add support for ADA staking directly in Ledger Live. So there you have it, a very safe, secure, and simple way to manage your Cardano cryptocurrency using Ledger Live to view your balances and using the Ledger device to secure the private keys. Safe and secure way of storing crypto. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.